Good morning, students. Morning, ma'am. Uh, first year, that is, you have the differential equations in mathematics. Okay. So, already we have seen the differential calculus in the first sem. So, almost whatever the topics we have seen in the differentiation, same like that, only we have here the topics of the integration. Now you are able to see, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so today we are seeing about the differential equations. So in the differential equations, uh, you know all that are four blocks will be there. So each block will have three units. So total you will have the 12 units. And also last I have told how I have told the, for the first semester, what are the uh, 10 marks questions and what are the 5 marks questions which are covering from each and every block I will tell and what uh, how much portion we can possible to complete we will do that one okay so first one is about the integration we have block one so whoever have completed uh, the inter, uh, that is a intermediate first year and second year they will have idea about the integration and already you have seen the differentiation in the first semester Okay, so just the antiderivative of the differentiation is called as an integration. So whatever the functions we have seen, that is the trigonometric function or exponential functions or logarithmic functions or any polynomials. So the, whatever the functions we have seen, uh, for them we have found the differential equations. So similar way, we will find the integration for those all different types of functions. Okay, so the main thing is we have here so, uh, uh, second semester mathematics, our topic is about the differential equations. Okay. So, integration is the, it is related with the differentiation. Why we are first, we are taking the block one as integration because second block, third and fourth, whatever the topics are there, they are related with the, if you know the formulas of the integration, then you can solve. Both you should know, the differentiation you should know. And also the, whatever the standard formulas are there. So if you remember them, then you can find the solutions for different types of problems. So that's why the block one is about the integration is there. And uh, here, whatever the differential equation is there. So differential equation will be in the form of, that is, we call it a differential equation is an equation involving an, uh, that is unknown function and its derivatives. So unknown functions will be there and also its derivative. That it may be first order derivative or it may be a second. Okay. So in general, we'll see the differential equation appear in mathematical modes. So we'll addict, uh, that is a for finding the values, we'll use that one. Okay. So differential equation will be combination of one independent variable, one dependent variable, that is independent variable is X, dependent variable is Y, and its derivatives. Uh, you may have first order derivative or else you may have the second order derivative. Okay. So that is, uh, you may have x square plus dy by dx into y. So plus d, uh, d square y by dx square, like that anything. That means x is here uh, independent variable and also y is here dependent variable. And also like this you may have. This d square y by dx square plus dy by dx 
plus 2y equals to 0. Okay. So here this is the second order derivative, this is the first order derivative, and this is the dependent variable y. So it is equals to 0. So this type of equations, whatever we have, that type of equations are called as a differential equation. That means they have the combination of x and also y. X is the here independent variable. Okay. And this is the dependent variable and the combination of one any differentiation that is dy by dx or d square y by dx square so on up till you may have any nth order that is dn y by dx to the power of any order so this type of combination of independent dependent variable and its derivatives this combination is called as a differential equation okay so in that uh, we will have the first concept is block is about integration so integration definition is there in your textbook. So in some cases, in the examination, they will ask the definition of the integration. That is indefinite integration will be there and also definite integrals will be there. So indefinite integral means, we'll write like this, that is the integration of f of x into dx. So this is equals to capital F of x plus c. Okay, so this is indefinite. indefinite integration or indefinite integral. If it is a definite integration, okay, definite integration means you will have the limits here, upper limit and lower limit, okay, f of x into dx. So, it will be f of b minus f of it. That is, we are substituting whatever the answer we are getting. You are substituting the limits values and uh, after uh, doing the simplification, you will get the value here. So that is called as definite integration. Definite just integral of here any function, whatever the different five different functions are there. That function of dx is equals to capital F of x plus c. Okay. So in page number so here uh, in page number three, you have the definition of the Okay, so here uh, the combination of this, we will call it as a differential equation. And also we have the concept of what is indefinite integration and also definite integration. So indefinite integration it, uh, is the whatever the function is there. This is the function. When you do the integration of that, you will get it as a f of x. That is the capital f of x will tell. And here, if you see the definition of what is integration. So integration means it is the antiderivative of the function. If you take any trigonometric function, that is the sine x or cos x or anything. So that function, if you take, so the antiderivative of this, not the derivative, antiderivative of that function is called as a integration. That means if you take here any function, f of x equals to x square is there. Okay, the differentiation of this is f dash of x equals to 2x you will get. Okay. So, if you will do the uh, whatever the answer we are getting, 2x, 2x is there, no? So, if you will do the integration of this function f of x. So, here yeah, the differentiation of function is f of x equals to x square. Okay. So, d by dx of this value, if you uh, or else you can take the function as capital f of x, you take small f of x is the integration, no? So, capital f of x equals to x square. So what is f dash of x? f dash of x is 2x. So this is equals to small f of x. So how means this whatever function is there, we got here what we got 2x. So integral, so this is same thing, there no integration of f of x. That is integration of f of x is 2x into dx. So integration, this constant if you take outside into x into dx, it is equals to 2. So, integration of x, here it is x square by 2. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, what we got answer it is x square. What is this x square? This is 
capital F of X. Okay, so this means whenever you are taking any function that is capital F of X equals to X square, if you do the differentiation of that one, you are getting this two X. This two X value is the anti derivative of this function. Okay, anti derivative. Anti derivative is nothing but the integration. So when you do the integration of this anti derivative of this function. So when you do the integration of this, integration is 2 into x into dx. Here x integration is x square by 2. So 2, 2 will get cancelled. So x square. What is this x square? What is the function we have? That function. Okay. So here it is the given function. It is the derivative of this function. So derivative of this function is 2x. When you do the anti-derivative of that function, we will get the integration of that one. Okay. So here formulas will be different. D by dx of x means you will get 1. But integration of x is x square by 2. Okay. Here d by dx of x to the power of this formula is related to x to the power of n. That is n into x to the power of n minus 1. But integration of x to the power of n dx is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Okay, so this is the difference of the differentiation and also integration. That's why here in the integration, we have done it as a n plus 1 by n plus 1. So here the values will be increasing. In differentiation, the values will be decreasing. Okay, whatever the powers are there, that will decrease. Here, whatever the powers are there, that will be increasing. Okay, so you in your test book, you have different, uh, that is, formulas are there of the integration. You can see that in the page number four. So these are very important. And we'll write the integration as it is the anti-derivative of the function. That's why we'll write it as a dx. It is a function, anti-derivative of the function. That's why we'll put this is as called the integral. Whatever symbol is there, this is the integral. And this whatever c is there, c is the constant of integration. So constant of differentiation means when you do the constant differentiation, you'll get the value as zero. Okay, but here in the integration, you will get some constant value. That is, we call it as a constant of integration. It is called as a con uh, integrand also. So that all, whatever the uh, different names are there that you have in the definition, that is a page number three, you have definition of indefinite integral. Okay, so if it has an antiderivative f on i, i is the interval here. C is called the constant of integration and X the variable of the integration. Okay. So this is the main concept of the integration. On this, you have three units are there. So first, just we have the definition of the integration. What is the indefinite integral? After that, properties are there. And these are all what are um, fourth page number, whatever the formulas are there, these are very important. Even he has given as a comparison of the derivative and also integration. So you can compare how you are getting the answers for each and every function, okay? So 13, whatever formulas are there, these are useful for doing the all the problems that the four blocks, wherever necessary, you can use these formulas. Next, we have properties are there. So in this unit one, so first one is the method of integration. So first block is integration in that we have seen this is the unit one. Unit one is the method of integration one. And second one is method of integration two. And third one is application of integration that is areas are there. So in this almost first, you, first unit you have the concept of the integration. So uh, first starting whatever it is there properties are there. In properties only some formulas are there, different formulas. Not the page number four but different. So those you will get even for the objective type of questions also. So if you see the page number six, here different methods are there. That is the integration by the method of substitution, integration by parts. That is different, different uh, uh, top, uh, subtopics are there for the integration only. So how you solve any given problem. So you may use the integration by substitution. That means we use any x as the, uh, that is the sine theta or cos theta, tan theta or t, like that we'll substitute and means directly we can't do the integration of the given problem. So with the help of taking the substitution, you can make it into simplified form and then you can solve the problem. 
that is about the substitution method next uh, integration using trigonometric identities trigonometric identities means uh, sin 2x cos 2x tan 2x formulas and also even sin square theta plus cos square theta is there no cos 3x will be there uh, sin 3x like the different identities are there so by substituting those trigonometric identities in the given problem will make it into same similar form means first it will be the somewhat complicated one direct integration is not possible so after substituting these trigonometric identities you will make it into simpler form then you will do the integration so after getting the answer we will substitute whatever we have taken okay that is by using the trigonometric identities and third one is integration of algebraic functions of special forms using trigonometric substitution so here this is also c same as the b only okay so this c part whatever it is there 14 page number these formulas are important that is integration of 1 by root of a square minus x square 1 by root of x square minus a square so these sometimes they will ask for five marks question also so evaluate any one so whatever answers are there last that are important so they ask for the object to type of question also and even fill the blank uh, fill in the blanks also you will get this one so d part is the integration of certain algebraic functions or special forms by substitution so these are the fractions will be there no partial fractions so that type of this d one is the about the concept of the integration of the partial fractions that is the numerator will be there and also denominator will be there proper fraction and also improper fractions so what steps you have to follow for solving these type of partial fractions that is the d part so four different parts are there different different so how to solve such type of problems and uh, next last topic is the integration by parts integration parts is nothing but uh, you have seen the uv rule in differentiation no that is whenever two that is a f is one function g is one function when the combination of two functions are there how to solve So the almost these are the topics in the block one. getting your video okay next one is the integration by parts so that you will have the formula with the help of the formula you have to solve the problems so integration by trigonometric identities also some formulas are there so that one is integration as like this integration of f dash of x by f of x so that also formulas we we'll use for solving the problems
So this is one of the formula that is integration of f dash of x by So this is also f dash of x by f of x into dx. So this is log f of x plus it. This is the very important formula. Okay. So in many solving many problems, we'll use this one. Integration of f dash of x by f of x into dx is equals to. So f of x will be one function, any function like this, if one plus x square is there. Okay. So here the differentiation of this is 2x. So if in the numerator you have like this and dx, directly you can apply this formula and directly you can write log. What is f of x? f of x is the denominator one, that is 1 plus x square plus c. Okay. See here f of x is 1 plus x square. You can uh, write in the solution f of x equals to 1 plus x square. What is f dash of x? Differentiation. Not the integration, differentiation of constant function is 0 plus x square. x square differentiation is 2x. So, what you have in the numerator, 2x is there. In the denominator, 1 plus x square. That means here you can take it as 0 plus 2x. So, differentiation of 1 is 0, x square is 2x. So, it is integration of f dash of x by f of x dx equals to log 1 plus x square plus c. Okay. So, some uh, are also there that is integration if you have any constant one one into dx if any constant is there for the integration we write with respect of what variable you are doing the integration that variable that is x plus c but remember d by dx of if you have constant function then the value is zero okay so likewise you compare both of differentiation and also integration. Integration of any constant function is that variable. Okay. Differentiation of constant is zero. Okay. And even if we we'll see d by dx of if you have sine 2x is there. Okay. Sine 2x means we'll write it as 2 cos 2x. That means sine 2x differentiation is cos 2x and 2x differentiation is 2. Why? Because x differentiation is 1 no. So that's why we'll write it as 2 cos 2x. In the similar way, if you do same this for integration, sine 2x into dx is equals to sine 2x differentiation is minus cos 2x. Okay. For sine in the integration, you will get the minus. So sine minus cos 2x and here 2x is there no 2x differentiation will write in the denominator. Here we'll write in the numerator. As a quotient, here we'll write it as a denominator plus c. Okay, so like this, some comparison will be there between the different formulas of differentiation and also integration. Okay, so here even 1 by x integration of 1 by x dx is log x, but the differentiation of log x is 1 by x. So, yes. Okay, so here you will get the even for the uh, integration of e to the power of 2x dx also will write it as e to the power of 2x by whereas for dx e to the power of 2x means we'll write it as 2 into e to the power of 2x exponential functions also like the one in the denominator you will get whatever the quotient is there so these are some formula almost in the block one you have all the formulas of the integration which are mainly useful for solving the problems okay so here this one is integration by parts is there no it is similar as d by dx of u v will be there no that is u is one function v is another function so then how you'll write that is u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx Okay, keeping one as a constant, next you have done the differentiation of the second one, then second one constant and the differentiation of the first one. 
whatever the uv is the rule is there similarly we have in the integration that we call it as integration by parts so here also we will do the integration for two functions at a time okay so that is integration of f of x into g of x into dx okay so if you have both the functions that is the you can take any uh, both the functions means you will have one trigonometric function and another one will be the any exponential function or any okay so in this case here you will take the constant as f of x then integration of g of x into dx minus this will be somewhat lengthy one formula next integration of that is minus integration of f dash of x into integration of g of x into dx this whole dx plus okay f dash of x into g of x dx and whole dx whole dx means like this you can take as a square okay see the formula here f of x into g of x equals to first you take the f of x as the constant that means you are taking outside integration of only g of x g of x any function into dx means we are doing the integration means dx will be there minus integration of this integration is whole integration integration of f dash of x means whatever we have taken here as a constant that function you are doing the differentiation into integration of g of x after doing this whole whole bracket you are taking so whatever answer you will get here that into dx means again you have to do the integration of the plus c okay so this at the time of the means that is you can take anything here x square is there into e power x e power x is the g of x so if you take uh, e power x square into e power x or any trigonometric function also you can take so x square is f of x now so x square into e power x dx minus integration of what is f of x differentiation no f of x x square is 2x 2x into integration of e power x dx whole dx okay so if you see this one x square into integration of e power x is e power x only minus here you can take two outside okay so x is there and here to e power x is there so integration of e power x is e power x only so again for this you have to do the differentiation okay so that means for one function whatever do we are doing the integration one more time you will get why because it is the process no here two times we are doing the integration so if you take here x means you will get one so just you can stop here and one more uh, integration you can do here again you have to fo uh, follow the same rule that is this is f of x and this is g of x so again you have to do the same formula and then you will get the answer why because the differentiation of x is what you will get one so one into e power x means directly you will get the answer okay so if you will take cos x and sin x like that also you will uh, do two steps then you will get the answer not only for the one step you will get why because here integration of again you will get the two functions so again you have to formula we have to apply this formula and again you have to do so this is somewhat complicated in integration but in the differentiation just we have done like this okay so but remember this formula this is very important almost in some problems we will use this one for solving whenever two functions are given to solve for the integration okay this is the about the integration by parts next uh, last one is about the next integration of inverse trigonometric functions are there so if you remember uh, we have seen d by dx of sin inverse x cos inverse x okay so what is the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions that is d by dx of sin inverse x means 1 by root of 1 minus x square here integration will be there we we'll see like this d by dx of sin inverse x sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square so this is the differentiation but in in integration integration of this one will be there anti derivative no so 
1 by x square into dx. It is equals to sin inverse x plus. Okay. These are the inverse trigonometric function. You can take 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. So if you have idea, this is the tan inverse x. So differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square. So integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x plus. Okay. So like this, whatever the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions are there. Similarly, you will have integration of inverse trigonometric functions. So this page number 25, all formulas are there different. That is here, integrate not only the integration of this part, even the integration of sine inverse x, tan inverse x, cot inverse x, secant inverse x, cosecant inverse x, that also formulas are there. Okay. So almost they will be useful for the objective type of question because these are only the formulas they will ask there. So this type of integration will be useful for solving the problems. Okay. Here six different trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric are there. After that, with the help of the two functions, that is a UV rule we have, no? same like that only, you have the formula for even the trigonometric functions. So that also important. These are all five marks questions only, almost you'll get here. Next to 29 page number, if you see this part is the important one. That is the integration by partial fractions method. So in this uh, proper fraction will be there and also improper fraction will be there for that. Table is given, no table one. This is the important one. So, which uh, whenever you will get any partial fraction in these types, how many five different types are there? So, whenever you will get this such type of uh, uh, rational functions, then how to split that function that is given in the table? So, if you have it in the form of px plus q by x minus a x minus b, then a by x minus a plus b by x minus b. If you have any square then two times and if you have the three functions are there how to split that one and if one square is there one single function is there okay these all you have the concepts in intermediate you have the improper fraction partial fractions is there no so if you know the splitting of the function then easily you can solve the problem so that uh, this whatever the problems are there these such type of problem they will be asked for the 10 marks questions okay so here in this unit one this partial fraction, uh, finding the integration part is the five marks. Whether it's one, you will get the, if it's a simple one, you will get one five marks question. If not, they will ask the 10 marks question. That is a ninth A question will be from this unit. Next is the meta integration by the method of successive reduction. So in intermediate, you have this one. That is uh, integration of sine n to the power of x. That is sine square x or cos square x or sine to the power of 4x. So like this. Sine to the power of nx into dx. Okay. So this is called as a reduction. So you may have sine square x or sine to the power of 4x or sine to the power of 6 or 8 or anything like that. Okay. So for that. When for sine square x, we are not having any formula in integration. So for such type of functions, we'll use the reduction formula. Reduction formula means whatever the here n is there, n value for even values and also for odd values, you will have some different formulas. For even exponential function also, you will have that one. So you can see in page number 32, 33, here formula is there. I, I to the power, that is base n equals to minus sine n minus 1 into x cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n i n minus 2. So if you remember this formula, if he's asking sine to the power of 4x, then here we'll write i to the power of i that is base 4 is equals to minus sine 4 minus 1 that is sine cube x cos x by 4 plus 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 by 4 i 4 minus 2 means 2 you will get. So again, second time you have to apply the reduction formula. Okay. So this integration by part and reduction formula two times will apply that one. So page number 33, if you see top of the page, you have this is the formula for sine to the power of Nx dx. After that, case one and case two are important. These two are that means if you have even power, that means uh, the whatever the formula will be there, that will end with x. Whenever odd power is there, that 
uh, formula will end with minus cos x. That is the integration of sin x. So integration of sin x is minus cos x. So, <laughs> so uh, you take one uh, book and in that you write all the formulas, whatever are there in unit one. Okay. So if you know these all formulas, then you can solve easily whatever the problems given. Okay. So here in unit one. One five marks question starting whatever I have told different methods are there from that you will get one and one five uh, ten marks question is from the partial fractions okay so you have chance of getting fifteen marks from the unit one next method of integration is there second one so in this uh, you have the different uh, uh, method of integration pay number forty five. So you have fundamental theorem of integral calculus is there. That is just uh, first unit is about the indefinite integration. Second unit is about the definite integration. Definite integration is nothing but the reason limits will be there, upper limit and lower limit. So that is fundamental of um, fundamental theorem of integral calculus is nothing but like this will have a to b f of x dx is equals to f of b minus f of x. So whatever we have seen the definite integration, that is only the formula of the fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Through that concept, we are finding the problems here whenever two limits are given, that is upper limit and lower limit is given. See, like this you can take. That is integration of if sin x is there, rx, e power x is there, or x square, any trigonometric functions or algebraic or any function is there, then you have to apply the limit. Of, after doing the integration, you have to apply the limit. That means not before. So first you have to find the integration of that one. After finding the integration of that one, you have to apply the limits here, upper limit and lower limit. That is 0 to 1 is there. Okay. X square dx is there. So, Okay, integration of x square into dx is there. So this is the lower limit. We call it as a, this is a lower limit and this is called as the upper limit. How we have here a to b f of x dx. So first you do the integration of x square x square is x cube by 3. Arrays, if you want that, you can write it as 2 plus 1 by here in the denominator 2 plus 1. Okay. Plus, so here limits are there, no? That is 0 to 1 plus c. So if you, here we'll get x cube by 3 plus c. For this, we have the limit 0 to 1. Okay. So first upper limit minus lower limit. See upper limit minus lower limit. Here upper limit is 1. So 1 cube by 3 minus. So this is 0 no? So 0 by 3 you get. So this is 1 by 3 you get. 1 by 3 plus. Okay. So like this you have to apply the limits for the given function after doing the integration. If sin x is there. So 0 to 5 by 2 is there. Sin x dx. So sin x integration is minus cos x. So 0 to 5 by 2. Plus c. So minus cos 5 by 2. Here minus is there. Minus of minus is plus cos 0. Plus c. So cos 90 is 0. So this value is 0. Cos 0 is 1. 1 plus c. So the answer is 1 plus c. So like this, you have to apply the limits and you have to solve the problems. So in this also, different concepts are there, how to solve the uh, definite integration. That is a definite integrals. In page number, you have uh, some formulas are there. These are all uh, how you can apply for solving the problems. Wherever necessary, you can use those formulas. Okay. 48 page number, you have uh, some different problems are there on this. These are all five marks questions. So second question will be there, no? 
second question is there no that question is uh, that is section a second question will be from the second unit okay so same uh, we have seen the reduction formula no just now that is the sine to the power of nx that is integration of sine to the power of nx dx is there here in second part for the definite integration you will have the limits a to b sine to the power of n dx so for this uh, you will have if it is a sine is there means you will get the angles will be there that is 0 to pi by 2 or 0 to pi like the different angles will be there so then you will have the different formulas so you will have here 0 to pi by 2 okay so 0 to pi by 2 means in page number 52 you can see the formula is there that is n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 into n minus 5 by n minus 4, so on, up to a i to that is first or i naught. Yes. Depending on here the power of n, the formula will be going. Okay. So if you think 4 is there, means 4 minus 1 by 4. And again, 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 2. Here, 4 minus 5 means negative it will go, no? So, you should not use that one. So, only positive values you have to take. So, only these two and here I1 will get. So, I1, why? Because here it is a even power is there means I1 you will get. If it is odd power is there means I0 you will get. Okay. So, that depends on the even and odd powers. So, the formulas you have for the... See, in, uh, in 52, last concept is there no 0 to pi by dx equals to pi by 2. If uh, denote it for i naught. So that means this will be for even function and this will be for odd function. Okay. So that means if you have your 4 means i naught you will get. What is the i naught value? i naught value is pi by 2. And i1 value means sine to the power of 5 dx if you will get means here you will get i1. So, I1 means that value is 1. Okay. So, same we have seen in the first unit also. But limits were not, not there. Okay. So, here you will get the limits. So, while solving the problems, we will see this one. So, in this concept, uh, only single function is there means sine to the power of n dx will be there. In some other, uh, means in this only m comma n2 positive integers will be there like this. So then also you will have different formula will be there. Sine to the power of mx cos to the power of nx dx. Okay. So whenever two functions are there and you have the powers of that one and the limits are from 0 to pi by 2. So you will have means here you may have two even powers, one even power, one odd power, two odd powers, like the different will be the different types. So for this you will have the formulas are there in your textbook. So, if you uh, in page number 53, you have theorem C 2.4.2. So, if you remember this one, so when m comma n are even, this is the formula. When m is even, m is odd, this one. So, when this n is not equals to 1, is odd. So, like this, different varieties are there. If you remember this, on this one new question, you will get for the 10 marks question. Okay. So, either you may get the partial fraction as the 10 marks question or this one. So on this example problems are there in your textbook. You can see those example problems. And next to third unit is the important one. Third unit you will not get the five marks question. So two five marks question from block one will be from unit one and unit two. And the nine B question compulsory nine B you will get the question from the third unit only in any series either A series or B series or C. So one 10 marks question will be compulsory from the third unit of the block one. That is, you have the application of integration. So that in application of integration, you have the areas will be there. So whatever the functions we have seen, that is a trigonometric functions or exponential functions or any algebraic functions, we'll find the integration of that one. And also we'll uh, draw the diagrams. Okay, we'll draw if it is a sine x means you will have the graph will be there. No, in curve tracing, you have seen the uh, graphs of that one. So, with the help of that, we will find the area, whatever the area is there, that area will find the of the region which is covered by the 
that function. Okay. If you see the sign here, zero will be there. From zero, it will start. Like this, it will be. There. Okay. This is the sine x function, zero to pi, and this is two pi. Means if the interval is given in the uh, problem as sine x in the interval zero to two pi. Okay. So from the starting, sine zero value is zero, no. So it will start. Last twelfth uh, uh, unit of the uh, differential calculus, curve tracing is there. You have seen that sine x, cos x, tan x, different functions, graphs are there, no. With the help of that only, we'll see here. And cos zero, uh, sine zero is zero, sine pi is zero, and also here sine two pi is zero. Okay. So sine two pi, um, sine pi by two, sine ninety is one, no. We'll have here one. And this is minus one. Okay. So like this, you will get the graph. So in between of the interval zero to two pi, whatever the curve you are getting, that you have to find the area. That means this is you have to find these two curves, upper curve and lower curve. You have to find the area. So such type of problems you will get for the application of integration. And even if you see the cos zero value is one, no, if it is a cos, means it will start from like this. Here cos zero value is one, no. So graph will be starting from there. Or is any one straight line will be there? Or parabolas are there? No, like this or like this. Two combination of two parabolas. That is x square equals to four a y and y square equals to four a x. Combination of two parabolas or even the uh, ellipse will be there. Or uh, any circle. So such type of. One uh, circle, and if you have another straight line, then combining of these two, you'll get here area, area covered by those two functions. Then we have further region, whatever the region is there covered by the ellipse, and also one straight line. This is the region. Okay, so we have to find the area of this one here also for the interval zero comma two pi. We have this is one of the region, and this is one of the region. So combination of these two regions, if we find the area. So that is the area of the sine x in between of the interval zero comma two pi. So first part will be the finding the area of the given function. If only single function is given, that is, it may be ellipse or it may be circle or it may be sine x or cos x. Only one parabola or anything. Okay. So second part will be the combination of two functions. That is sine x and cos x. So sine x and cos x means graph will be like this. This is the cos x. No, here you will go sine x. Like this, okay. So that means here the region, this whatever the region is there covered by these two functions, you have to find the area of the two functions. So one first part is finding only the area of the single function. Second part is finding the area of the two given functions where where they are meeting. Okay. So if we take this one, this is x square equals to four a y and also y square equals to four a x. So this is the uh, region covered by these two functions. So that means we have to find the area of this part. So such type of problems will be there, and one nine B question will be compulsory from this area. So many examples are there in your textbook, and even uh, some exercise problems are also there. So if you see those exercise problems, that is the MBQ questions are there. No? So if you cover that one, then easily you can solve this one. If you know the graph. Of the functions easily, you can find the area of that part. Okay, addition of those two areas will be there in some. If you have upper and lower means, we'll do the subtraction of the part. Only in only upper direction or lower direction only it is there means then you can sum that part. And uh, in your even practical book also, uh, two three problems are there on finding the areas. Okay, so this is about the block one. So two ten marks question and two. Five marks question I have told. Okay, next second block is about the in differential equations of first order. Okay, so differential equations almost they will be of two types. That is uh, ordinary differential equation will be there and also partial differential equation. So ordinary differential equation means only one dependent variable be there. So one only one dependent variable means almost will have y as the dependent variable. So Ordinary differential equation means involves a function of a single variable and its derivatives. Okay, so uh, that is d square. Uh, before I have told no d square y by dx square plus dy by dx. 
plus m any constant function m y equals to zero. So this is called as ordinary differential equation. And next one means partial differential equation means you may have more than one variable. That is instead of y you may have z r t like that. Another if you have variable then we call it as a partial differential equation. So for the partial differential uh, uh, ordinary differential equation first thing is in the block 2 we have the concept of formation of differential equation. Okay. So this is third question in your section A from the unit 4. Formation of differential equations. So unit 4 first concept is formation of differential equation. Okay. So any function will be given like, like this y equals to a cos x plus b sin x. Okay. So for this function, you have to form the differential equation. So that means and for such type of problems for solving this, we'll do the difference. We don't know, know how to form the differential equation. For this, how many constants are there in the given function? You see a is here one constant and b is here another constant. So you have to do Depending on the given constant, if one constant is there, means only one differentiation is enough. If we have the two constant, that means you have to do the two times differentiation, then you will get the equation of the partial differential. If you have three, that means plus c into e power x is there. That then you have to do three times differentiation, then you have to convert into uh, differential equation. Differential equation, how it will be there? d square y by dx square plus d y by dx plus 2y equals to 0, like this. When you will get d square, only two constant terms are there. If three are there, means your differential equation will be in the form of like this. d cube y by dx cube plus. So sometimes, uh, whatever higher order will be there compulsory. Higher order represents the constants in the given function, okay? If three fun, uh, constants are there, means the order, higher order will be cube here. If only two are there, means d square y by dx square. In some cases, what will happen? This square and uh, single, whatever the only first order differentiation is there, they may cancel. So you may get in a simple form as a differential equation. But main differential equation will be like this. First higher order, next order, next order, next constant is equals to zero. So if you see this one, a only two constants are there. A and B are the two constants. You can take it as one and you write differentiate one with respect to x on both sides. Okay. So I'm writing here just so if y dash is equals to a differentiation we are doing now. So cos x is sin x plus b cos x. This is first order. Next again, you write here same step. Okay. You put as two. And differentiate 2 with respect to x on both sides. Okay. Minus a sin x differentiation is cos x. Plus here cos x differentiation is sin x. So minus sin x. If you take out minus common, what will happen? A cos x plus b sin x. Okay. So what is a cos x plus b sin x? Given question no. A cos x plus b sin x. That is, it is minus y. Okay. So y double dash is equals to minus one. So you can write it as y double dash plus y equals to zero. Okay, here we we got means y dash we didn't got, but highest power is what? Here highest differentiation represents the constant present in the given question. Okay, so y double dash plus y is equals to zero is the differential equation of the given function. Okay. So if you substitute that y value in this differential equation and also you will see then it will be the solution of that one also. Okay. So on formation of the differential equation one five marks question you will get here. Okay. This is the important one in uh, unit four only uh, one five marks question you will get and in uh, unit four uh, one more two objective type of questions you will get. Compulsory that will be there. That is the order of the differential equation and also degree of the differential equation. This is the important concept you have. That is, if you have here, first I have uh, written this one now. In this, what is the highest order? Highest order is 3. So you can tell that is order of the differential equation is 3. 
okay but we need to degree of the uh, differential equation okay so you can see like this dy by dx okay this is one of the differential equation if we have dy by dx this is the first order for that you have whole cube is there d square y by dx square plus 2y equals to 0 this is one of the differential equation so you can see what is the highest order highest order is 2 okay so for this you can write order is equals to 2 so we need to find the degree no degree is also what will tell highest uh, whatever the power will be there that you will tell as a degree of that one here the power is 3 okay in uh, in general any if you have any algebraic function or any polynomial if you see highest power is there for that any variable then you will take it as a degree of that function but here in the differential equation highest order highest order whatever the power will be there that is called as a degree of the differential equation okay normally just if you see this question what you write order as 2 and degree as 3 why because highest power is 3 here but this is wrong okay why because in differential equation highest order power whatever it is there here nothing is there means we can take it as a power one so of that you will call it as a degree of the differential equation this is one okay remember this one this one mark portion will get in the objective type okay so if you have like this even some problems will be there you will have the fractions like this three by two or here square will be there and even some problems will have the square root also will be there that is square root of d by dx so whenever such type of problems will be there, you have to eliminate this fraction by squaring on both sides or cubing on both sides. That depends on the given problem. You, even examples are there in 78 page number. Okay. If you'll see there, you can see. So uh, the power should not be in the form of any fraction or the whatever the, pro, the differentiation is there derivative, it should not be there in the square root. First, you have to simplify that one. And after doing the simplification, we have to see what is the order and what is the degree of the function. Okay. We can see those examples in 78 and 79 page number. Okay. So this in the fourth unit, six marks you will get. One is the, not six, seven marks. Okay. One is this formation of the differential equation. One is the order and another one is the degree. They will give separate, if uh, they may give only one differential equation, but they will ask as one degree and one order. Okay, so five plus two means seven marks you will get from the unit four. So try to uh, practice all the example problems and also exercise problems of this one. Next, we have unit five. Unit five is about differential equations of first order and first degree. Okay, first order and first degree means here. Uh, order will be only dy by dx and degree of that one if it is a first order means the degree of uh, whatever the degree will be there that will be only for known okay in that you will not have in the form of square or cube or anything okay so in this you will have the problems uh, main method is variable separable method is there so variable separable method of ordinary differential equation of first degree and first order okay so it is nothing but just separating the variables. If we have dy by dx is equals to f of x into g of y. Like this, any function is there. Variable, in the name itself, it is there. Variable separable method. So variables, you have to do the separate of that one. Means like variables, you have to write one side and other similar variables. Here dx is there means that you have to write with f of x. And dy is there means you have to write with the help of gy okay so if you do the cross multiplication of what you'll get same variables you have to do so integration of f of x into dx okay next year gy is there gy is the one function f of x is another function so if you do the cross multiplication of this f of x into dx we got one another one is numerator you should have dy no so here dy by g of y plus, okay? Like this, you have to separate the variables. Then you have to do the integration 
then you can find the solution of the given any problem okay so this such type of problems you will get for the five marks questions so even this method you can apply in solving other problems also in between of some problems that is the next we have the concept of homogeneous function in the homogeneous differential equations and also another one is non homogeneous differential equations there so in that concepts you uh, use the variable separable method okay so you can see the examples in your textbook this is the one five marks question and fifth unit so in this unit you will get the 10 marks question that is about the homogeneous functions if you remember in differential calculus we have seen homogeneous functions these are the homogeneous equations we have homogeneous function means we'll write now f of lambda x comma lambda y is equals to lambda to the power of n into f of x comma y so whatever lambda to the power of n is there that is the homogeneous the degree of the homogeneous function here also the homogeneous function will be there such that we can separate the lambda of those functions such type of functions are called as homogeneous differential equations okay and another one is non homogeneous will be there means which will be not in the form of lambda to the power of n f of x comma y so these two any problem you will get for the 10 marks questions okay in unit 5 so homogeneous problem or non homogeneous problem homogeneous problem means we we'll, uh, solve the problem by substituting y equals to ux we substitute y in, in place of y we substitute ux and you simplify that one and we will do the integration of that one non homogeneous means we will convert non homogeneous into homogeneous and then again we will apply this one same put y equals to ux so that's why these two are very lengthy process so they are asked for the 10 marks question okay so these are the in 50 unit these two are 10 marks questions next we have linear equations are there linear equations means um, here we, um, one another topic will be uh, means concept will be introduced that is the integrating factor will be there so linear equations all linear differential equation that will be in the form of d by dx plus p of x into y equals to q of x okay so like this will be there and even this whatever the representation of linear differential equation is there they will be asked for the math the following or any fill in the blanks or multiple choice that is one objective type of question you will get for the linear equations linear differential equations so that will be in the form of dy by dx equals to p of x into y equals to q of x okay so we have to find the p value we have to see what is p value and what is q value here integrating factor will be there integrating factor is e to the power of p of x dx okay so that uh, solution for this you will have the general solution general solution is y into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor plus such type of problems you will get for the five marks question linear differential equations so given question will be like this from this what uh, you have to see what is p value and what is q value after finding p and q value you have to find the integrating factor after getting that integrating factor the general solution of this linear differential equation is y into integrating factor equals to integration of q into integrating factor plus c okay so after this you have the bernoulli equation is there bernoulli equation means you will have f to the power of n into x that is b you can write shortcut bernoulli equation so representation of bernoulli equation also ask for the objective type of question so in some cases bernoulli problems also they will ask for 10 marks question this is about the 50 unit so 50 unit q of x into y to the power here one more y will be there y to the power of n so for linear equation only q of x will be there but for bernoulli equation here one more value will be there that is y to the power of n okay bernoulli equation you have to convert into linear differential equation and you have to solve the problem how we have for non homogeneous non homogeneous you have to convert into homogeneous 
and you have to substitute this and you have to solve the problem for uh, bernoulli's equation also you have to convert bernoulli's into linear differential equation then you have to follow this rule okay that's why this topic is asked for 10 marks question this one and this one so from these three topics any one question you will get for the 10 marks question so this is about the fifth unit last we have the exact differential equations are there so in this also you that is a this is the 10 a question and 10 b question will be from the 60 unit so 60 unit exact differential equation in this different uh, uh, constant integrating factors are there uh, three to four varieties are there if uh, means uh, one will be uh, one by mx plus ny and also one one by mx minus ny so where to use these problems questions will be different so by seeing that question you have to see um, by using which type of integrating factor you can make the non exact differential equation to exact differential equation okay so this concept also important uh, exact differential equation means just i tell only one topic this one, and i will wind up this one so exact differential equation unit 6 we have no exact differential equation means differential equation it will be in the form of m dx plus n dy equals to zero okay so if you find the differentiation of do m by do y here partial it is okay partial differential equation do n by do x if the whatever the values of m n and are there when you do the partial differentiation of that one you will get the same value then we call it as an exact differential equation if you get different values then we call it as non-exact Okay, when exact means directly like this for linear equations, how we have done, general solution will be there. Whenever it is a non-exact, you have to convert this non-exact to exact and you have to follow the same rule. How we have done for this concept, this concept, similarly this one. So non-exact, you have to convert into exact and you have to find the general solution. So for converting non-exact to exact, we will use the concept of integrating factors. So for different, four different types of methods will be there. Is for, for uh, By seeing those uh, given problems, you have to identify which integrating factor is suitable for the given question. Here different will be the integrating factors is mx plus ny, 1 by mx minus ny, Next to 1 by n into do m by do y by do n by do x equals to 0. And one more is 1 by m into do n by do x minus do m by do y equals to 0. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. By see, uh, while doing the problems, you can identify for which problem you have to use which type of integrating factors. 1, 2, 3, 4. For converting non-exact to exact, we'll use these integrating factors and we'll solve the problems. So this is one 10 marks question and this is one 10 marks. So either Bernoulli's equation you'll get or from here or this one. So 9a from these two topics. So you may get one question uh, that is A series, you may get Bernoulli's equation, B series, you may get the exact and non-exact like that. Okay. So this is about the block two. Uh, tomorrow we'll see about the block three and block four. Okay. So what are the important topics we have, and also what are the important questions you'll get for the ten marks question. So up till that, you try to uh, write all the formulas of the integration from the unit one two. Why? Because if you know those formulas only, then only we can solve all the problems of the uh, that is from block two, three and four. So you should know differentiation formulas and also integration problem. In any one paper, you write the even the differentiation formulas and also the integration problems. Side by side only you write, then you can compare that one. Okay. Even if you have times, uh, try to see the trigonometric identities. That is in intermediate, if you see the trigonometry, then you will get all the formulas of trigonometric identities. That is uh, sine a, uh, sine 2a, cos 2a, sine 3a, cos 3a, and even sine a plus b formula is also there, no? Cos a plus b. Those all trigonometric identities. Try to even write those also. Those will be useful for the 
solving these all problems okay tomorrow we'll see students okay bye